What is up, everybody? Uh, better? Kind of? It's super bright, even with the ND filter on here. Today, I'm actually just leaving work because I have to go interview the mayor. And I just wanted to show you guys what I take with me to such things. Now, I've never been to the location, and we're going to go to City Hall. I don't go to City Hall. And we're going to go, um, it's kind of like a blind interview. It's for my redder stuff. But I just want to show you guys what I take with me on blind shoots like this. So obviously, this is actually my A camera. It's the Lumix G X G85. All right, so in the camera bag, SGC598. We have the task, uh, we have the zoom H4N. So overexposed. It's super bright out today. All right, so we have in the camera bag, first audio is important. The Zoom H4N Pro, um, I love it. It's a good audio recorder on the go here. And then I've got, uh, obviously the camera I'm using is this camera, is the, what is this? The Lumix G85. I also have the Lumix G7 for the uh, B camera. I actually don't know which lens I'm gonna put on it. This is the 25 mil uh, F17, and I may put that on the camera I'm using now, but. We'll see once we get in there. It's a blind shoot, like I said. This is the 12 to 60 kit lens for the G85. I like this lens just because it's a 12 millimeter or 24 mil equivalent. SD cards, uh, never leave home without backups. And then for more audio, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have, so I may plug in one of the uh, zooms just for backup on that. I can use this as a like direct to camera or just internal. I usually just go internal with the Zoom H4N Pro just because I'll have three basic sources of audio and I'll take whichever one is best uh, for that. I'll probably lav up our interviewer with the, with the zoom recorder. And then, always, 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 always bring extra batteries for your recorders. I always try to bring brand new batteries. I usually plug them in the night before, but I was in a hurry this morning because I had to work and I didn't do that. Also, just a quick tip, I have a couple of those handy if you go anywhere, because people, if they see you and they think you look professional, will ask you who you are. The next things are obviously things like tripods. I have um, two tripods. I've got this travel tripod. It works very well. Travel tripod works good. It's just, I have it, love it. Um, I do have a King Joy fluid head on there. Helps a lot than just like this, the kit tripod head. Um, I also have a vintage tripod, but it works great because it's heavy. This guy here, it is the, it's a Bogan 3063. It's old, but it works very well. It's heavy. Uh, having a nice heavy tripod, um, it's for obvious reasons heavier, isn't going to bump around a lot. The travel tripod, it works well, but it's very light and it can get bumped around. Indoors, it's not going to matter though, honestly. Just the Bogan, it like raises to six feet plus, and it's just nice. And then because I do use the Micro Four Thirds cameras, indoors generally sucks for lighting. So this is the Sokani um, X6, X, XP600, XP600 Pro or something like that. This, it comes with your power adapter, the light itself, it's an LED, it's bicolor. Um, it's a great little LED light, and I'm overexposed here. There it goes. So if you can see that, it's super bright. I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, it also has, it comes with two batteries. They last forever, um, and then a digital display for readout. I bring this, pretty much any shoot I go on, because it is super bright. The Sokani X600 Pro. Normally, I actually will bring a diffuser to go with it, but in my haste this morning, I didn't grab it. And then last but not least, you have the light stand. This actually goes with one of my older lights. So that actually goes with the, um, I have this old tungsten light, but it's a good light stand, it's strong. Um, the cheaper, like $10 stands, really suck if you bump them they feel like they're gonna fold up and melt it's just bad and uh yeah so that's what i take to these interview things i'm gonna look to try to get you some b-roll of the actual interview itself we have sort of a brief amount of types of questions you're gonna ask oh yeah if you want okay sure go ahead i do and uh it's hot out i'm gonna put this stuff back in my car and wait for the interview